Welcome back guys. Um, we're on this lake where there's big smallmouth. Uh, we have a crisp like 25, 30 degree morning. You can see my breath. So it's cold but the sun's shining. It's supposed to warm up. It's just such a such a nice day out. I couldn't ask for a better day. So we're here to catch like a six pound smallmouth. Hopefully it happens and we're just gonna get to it. Here we go. Alright, I'm starting off with a uh, Berkeley Shimmer Shad. Got this on a spinning rod with six pound test. I'm just gonna crank this just for a little bit, not long. Cause I know last time we were here, like slow move Ned rigs and jigs, people were catching them on. So we have like 52 degree water to work with and if I don't get any hits on this, I'm switching over to a soft plastic. Yeah. What's the point of jerk base for suspending? Hey. There's one. It's a large mouth. I was messing with my reel. Mm hmm. It's like third cast. And there we go. First one, like third or fourth cast. He's feeding. There we go. Nice little pound and a half, two pounder. It's just got a gut on him. Look at that gut. So, let him go. Alright, I'm going to try a Ned rig out. I don't have the um, TRD on, I believe. It's called the Ned Bomb. Um, I might have said the wrong thing. I just got them, so I'm not too sure. So we're just gonna run it, and hopefully it catches us a big smallmouth. There's one. Oh, you let go. He's on it. Little guy. Large man. He's in his gun. He was. There's one. That's a small one. Little guy though. Oh, these big ones aren't like taking it. That one followed it in. There we go. First smallmouth. There's one. Mm. Yeah, we got a smallmouth. Yeah. It's a large mouth. Okay, so another thing you'll find me throwing instead of a um, original TRD is this Gary Yamamoto um, shad shape worm. It's like a four inch. And I just throw this in a green pumpkin. I usually throw it if I'm in a tournament and um, the bite gets tough, but I know they were hitting a green pumpkin Ned rig. I usually throw it there to switch the bait up because a lot of these smallmouth fisheries um, they just see it they get hit so hard and then it kind of just a bigger profile and then I'll switch to this so hopefully this um, changes the game here today and we'll see if it gets me a big smallmouth instead of these little dinks There we go. It's 
coming right at me. <laughs> Swallow that. It's like the smallest one yet. There we go. <laughs> A little, little baby smallmouth. We want his mom. There we go. Um, that's better. No, it's not. It just dug. No, where's all the smallmouth? He was really up under that tree. I skipped it up under there. Well, there's the fifth. I promise you guys that <clears throat> they actually get big. Oh crap, I caught my glove. No, buddy, you're around a bunch of trouble. I promise you they get bigger in here. I did it again. Just got done making the run back to the breast. Um, it should be closing soon. Like putting the buoys up so we won't be able to kind of like go right up towards the bank where it's a little bit more shallow and cruise around so we're going to take advantage of it while it lasts but I'm going to start off with this sh uh, shimmer shad again see if I can get any crank in and then switch to a slow moving bait Eight or seven. Seven. There's one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, it is. There we go. Yes. First one for me. I'm taking my glove off. I don't know if I need these pliers or not. Uh, that's not that big. Eh, it's only probably like a pound. Not a bad one for me. First one, Cody's going for numbers. I'm going for size. Oh, well, he might be going for size. If you want to weigh it, we can weigh it. Pound, pound, huh? There's one. This is a good one, Cole. Feels like a very nice fish. Okay, well I'm here, but my jerk bait's in the net. Big musky. Big musky. Big musky. I got it. No, it don't. It's too big for the net. Move your net. Your rod, Cole. I can't. Got it. <laughs> Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. I freaking jerk baits in this still. All right, so. It's my uh, first muskie ever. Awesome, like, creature. I've never caught one. He hit hard, so we're going to get a picture real quick, and then we're going to let it go. All right, we're going to get the release. I know um, you're supposed to kind of... Oh, never mind, he's ready to go. He's all busted up. There he goes. All right, a little, little bit of an update. So I'm at eight fish. Cole's at one, he caught an okay smallmouth, but for all you musky fishermen, uh, I did take care of it, it might not look like we really did, but it did suck, it bled a little bit, because there's two treble hook baits in there. He just kept twisting and twisting, and one of my hooks caught him, and he bent it up pretty good. We got him in the water, he was safe, swam off fine, so we're gonna head to the next spot. Hopefully, I wanna pull out at least a three pound smallmouth today, so. Here we go. There we go. Is he on it? Yeah. Big one. No, it ain't. He's wrapped up in that tree. He dug. I mean, it ain't bad. I know. <laughs> like. Ooh, 
little boy who's banged up. There we go. Second large mouth, oh yeah, actually, second fish for me, first large mouth. Got a nice small mouth, tiny large mouth. All right, so we're wrapping it up, getting off the lake. Um, they're a little weird today. The two baits that I caught them on was this flicker shad, and then I caught them on the Ned Rig. Um, with the Ned Rig though, the only thing, they would not hit a regular TRD. It had to be like a soft plastic mold, couldn't be that buoyant. Um, plastic that Z-Man uses so cool through like Z-Man all day and then I switched over to like a yum one and everything and they would hit green pumpkin on that but one hit a Z-Man one so don't know what the clue is ran into a guy that I know he ended up catching a three and a half but he was only caught like four total and he's been out for at least five hours so we're heading home hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching